This is so dumb. This does not feel like a good decision. But I really want to see if these work. These are the three most popular water filters on the market today. I'm going to test all of them and let you know which one is worth your money. This is the Membrane Solutions Personal Water Filter. I think it's a direct competitor with the Lifestraw. I think it even competes with that Sawyer Mini. So we got Membrane Solutions. It's like a cover for the drinking section. Comes with a nice little lanyard. And then we have the base, which looks very similar to the Sawyer bottom where you have the thread to screw onto a bottle or you can connect a hose. All right, this is the Sawyer Mini without the bags. So the cheapest I could find it was $14.99 at the time of recording. One of the filter and the syringe to back flush it. Get the change. And there is the filter. Most of the Sawyer products come with two pouches, um, but that does increase the cost quite a lot. So this one was the cheapest one I could find, closely compared with the Membrane Solutions and Lifestraw. They're all within a few dollars of each other. The bottom is very similar to the Membrane Solutions, where you can connect it to a hose or you can screw it onto a bottle. They do have this additional gasket here. And then the top is just like a straw. This is the Lifestraw Personal Water Filter. It was a nice little package, gives you the details on the front, how to use it on the back and what you can use it for. Let's go ahead and open it. That's it. The Membrane Solutions filter comes in $12.99 per filter. The Sawyer with just the back flush syringe comes in at $14.99. The Life Straw comes in at $19.95. The Life Straw claims to have 1,000 gallons or 4,000 liters of filtering capacity, while the Membrane Solutions claims to have 5,000 liters or 1,320 gallons. And then the Sawyer claims to have a lifespan up to 100,000 gallons. Both the Sawyer and Membrane Solutions filters claim to come in at two ounces, and the Life Straw claims a 1.6 ounces. The Life Straw is definitely the longest, while the Sawyer Mini is absolutely tiny, and the Membrane Solutions is probably the thickest. All three of these claim to get rid of 99.999% of bacteria, 99.99% of parasites, and 99% of microplastics, dirt, sand, and cloudiness. All three filters use the same technology to filter the water out, but Membrane Solutions has an additional steps, coarse filter, PP cotton, GAC, and UF. I think the only fair way to test these water filters is to actually test them. But I wanna see how each of them actually works. So we're gonna test all of them with this really nasty mud water. Hopefully it filters it out. This is so dumb. This does not feel like a good decision. But I really wanna see if these work and if I'm trusting my kids with them, I should probably trust them myself. This will be a good representation of standing water that is murky, which I highly recommend not drinking. But we'll go with the Life Straw. All three of these filters are brand new and we will see how they do. So here goes nothing. Actually, didn't get any particles. It didn't taste bad either. It kind of just tasted like snow water. I really don't like how this life straw leaks. Like when you're done, it just pours out. And then you also have this end, which pours out water. This is the clean water that comes out of it. So it does look completely clear compared to what's coming out of this end. It was very hard to get to the top. I probably had to do five or five to seven strong sucks before I felt anything. When I got the water to my mouth, it was very difficult to drink. Let's see how the others compare. Up next is the Sawyer Mini. There's only one way to drink out of it as well. It does have a connection for a bottle down here and you can connect it in line with like a Camelback or a drip system. So that's pretty cool. In my initial testing, this was my least favorite because I had some chunks of plastic come out when I drank it the first time. Hopefully this goes better. This one, kind of worried about this one. Before we do that, let's give this bad boy a mix. <laughs> Yummy. All right, so the first few sips were pretty easy. You could tell it started getting clogged and then it became just as hard as the life straw. It also is a much smaller orifice to get it in. No dripping like the life straw. It is completely sealed. It seems a lot better sealed and like filled in with the solution the life straw. Life straw seems to have a lot of empty space in it. All right, and finally but not least, we have the Membrane Solutions Personal Water Filter, and they did actually send this out to me for testing. I have very high hopes for this because it, instead of just having the filter in the middle, it has multiple filters. So in theory, it should taste better and filter just as good as the others. So let's mix this up and give it a try. 
The membrane solutions also can be attached to a bottle and it can also be attached to a tube. Well, this can't be used in line because this is just a mouthpiece, but it can be used to filter water off of a bag or a camelback, which is pretty nice. Oh, and this one's the cheapest, so there's that. Like the Sawyer, I got a few good sips initially and then it started to clog up. I don't know if it's fully clogged or if I just have to suck it into the membrane. It definitely seems harder to suck through. Honestly, I can't taste the difference. I mean, all of them seem to work fine. So let's go ahead and take these apart, try to backwash them and see how difficult that is. So to backwash, we're going to start with Sawyer, which actually comes with this plunger and all the kits to backwash. So we'll soak up some clean water and see if this can do anything good to it. It's definitely a lot in there. So he recommends backwashing it almost after every use, which looks like that is a very good idea since it's a completely enclosed system. I don't think I like this. I can hear water in there because it's fully enclosed. If you even crack this, you're just done. That's dirty water if you're wondering. Get out! How much is left? This is ridiculous. I'm done, I can't do that anymore. Live filter for backwashing just wants you to blow on it. Man, I do not like that it just leaks all over everything. It just never seems to be out, which the other filters do not have. So I guess, I guess we'll blow. There's still a bunch of particulates in the bottom. All right, well, it cleaned most of it out. I just, every time you drink from this, you have to suck for like six or seven big sucks. You have to keep pulling for a while because it seems like all the water just falls out and then continues to do so afterwards. Blowing it off did okay, but nowhere near as nice as the Sawyer. And the member solutions is unique in that you can actually take this whole thing apart. Take off the entire bottom, which is actually fairly clean. It's a very similar filter to the bottom of the Life Straw. You can take that filter out. There are the other stages of the filters inside the membrane solutions, but I really like that you can just take this out when you need to clean it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of carbon, kind of like a Brita filter would have inside of this. If I could only choose one filter, it'd be the membrane solutions. No, it's not because they sent it to me. It's because after that testing round, I love that you can take this apart and actually get all the muck out of the filter. A close second would be the Sawyer Mini. I really like that you can back flush and that comes with a plunger to do so. And it got a lot of gunk out. I just don't like that it's fully enclosed because I don't know what's happening in here. Even though I say it's 100,000 gallons, I don't know, it's just, it's hard to believe that when I can't see it, I don't know what's happening on the inside. And my last pick would be the life straw, mostly because it just took so long to get the water to your mouth after you started filtering. I also don't like that there's no real good way to backflush it other than running water through and then blowing on it. Seems like there's gotta be a better way to backflush it. If you know of any, let me know in the comments below. And what's more perfect to pair with a water filter than a water filter container for the entire family? Thanks for watching.